back in the gym with three white guys making all kinds of genetically inferior gains. Yeah! So what you're seeing here is our chest day, and by our chest day, I mean Bob Arcan from Olympus Iron, Matty Fusara from Fusara Fitness, and me, myself, and I from White Guy Fitness. But it was a good time. Nick and Max were supposed to meet us, but Nick had some issues where he did not have his car keys any longer, and they were unable to meet us in time. And I say that because this gym that we were training at, which is called Icon Fitness, I believe, which used to be Hard Bodies of Rhode Island, which in my opinion is a much better name, of course, they were having a fitness festival at 12, so that's what time the gym shut down. So we had to get in there before then, not to mention Maddie had to drive back to New York. So unfortunately, Max and Nick were unable to meet up with us, but the three of us still got in a fairly good workout. And what I'm gonna show you here is just some raw, really unedited footage. I'm not gonna really throw up the numbers besides my own personal working sets, only because it wasn't really about that. I just wanted to hang out with these guys, have a good workout, and that's something that I really enjoy because as you guys know from watching my videos, typically, at least hopefully you do, I don't ever train with anyone. So I always train solo, so it's always fun to kind of get in and get some training in with people that I consider my friends. And even though this was the first time that I met Matty in person, he's someone that I've been talking to on a consistent basis for several years. And Bob as well, talked to him quite a bit and I've actually hung out with him before, so I know he's a great guy. So it was just really enjoyable being in the gym, like-minded individuals, talked a lot about lifting, talked a lot about YouTube. and. If you probably noticed, I didn't get really a ton of footage. Now true, I got my normal gym footage that I would have got regardless, but outside the gym we did a lot of stuff. So for instance, Maddie came down Friday afternoon, I took him on a tour of South County, Rhode Island, anyone that's familiar, around Narragansett and Newport. For those of you unfamiliar with Newport, if you watch Family Guy, that's the area that Lois's family's from. It's a really nice town, it's where my mom grew up, it's where I lived for many, many years, and it's a tourist attraction in the summer, so I took him around to see the sights as this was his first time in Rhode Island. I also took him out to lunch, one of my friend's sandwich shops, which I believe you'll see again in a Saturday video that Matty filmed. But I took him there, I took him out to a couple of restaurants that I like, took him out for a few drinks, wined and dined him the best I could. You guys saw that lotion in magazine, so I was really trying to butter him up. But I didn't film any of that just because I really just wanted to hang out and have a good time, and that's exactly what we did. On Saturday, you saw a little bit of our breakfast. As you're watching me here with my first set of 310, goal was to get four reps, and I got like three and a half. Maddie had to help me on this last one. But after lifting, we actually went to the driving range, we went out to lunch, we went back to my house, hung out for a bit. I actually took everybody to my parents' house later, only because they lived down the road and were having a barbecue because my sister's in town. So everyone got to come over and have some food, some drinks, and meet my family. And it was a good time, but again, didn't film any of that just because, again, just enjoying people's company. So you might see some of that in their videos, but I really wanted to keep this more lifting focus, and I know it's probably not good only because this was supposed to be an epic collab, but it was really good just hanging out and meeting these guys. You see my second working set here come up, so again, it's 310. The goal today was to get anywhere between two to four sets of four reps. So the first set I struggled on and I was worried about this second one, but the second one actually went a lot better and I managed to get all four reps. Now as part of this, one of the things I will say, and I'm not making an excuse necessarily, but me and Maddie kind of had this discussion too. We were really kind of thrown off by this bench only because where the actual pad is, I typically set up further back. So the bars probably right above my clavicles when I start. Not to mention for me, this rack was very low. So I definitely needed a lift off on the heavier sets because it was about halfway up of where I would normally rack it. You see Bob here do a great single of 295 as well. So. After those first two sets, I decided not to go any further only because they were kind of tough. I wasn't really necessarily feeling it, and that's an important part of Dan's program is really knowing when to say when. However, we still got a lot more work in here. In fact, we broke out the slingshot and decided to play around with it. So here you see my first slingshot set with 315 pounds, and this is really my first chance really using this piece of equipment since I purchased it several months ago. So I did three working sets with the slingshot. You're seeing my first one here of 315. Got it for five reps. And one of the things I will say about the slingshot is I like it a lot as a training tool, as long as it's used correctly. And hopefully you guys know how to use your tool. And if not, practice always makes perfect. But it's a tool to be used and not something to be relied on because yes, it does make the lifts easier. However, I like it to help overload the actual weight as well as feel more comfortable using heavier weights. So going forward, if I don't use the slingshot, I know, for example, I'd done 315 for five before. That mental edge for me personally is very huge. 
Another nice thing with this slingshot is, is it really forces you to tuck your elbows more so than I would normally. So again, getting more comfortable with form, I think it's going to help me a lot going forward as you see Maddie give this a try as well. Now unfortunately, one of the downsides of working out with others and having limited time in the gym because of the fitness festival that I mentioned is the fact that we really didn't get a ton of work in. So I think we ended up doing probably somewhere between eight to nine sets of bench press each. And that's really all we did. We didn't do any other accessory work just because we were short on time already. We were hungry, the gym was closing, just didn't really work out too well. Here you see my next set of 335, got it for three reps. Again, felt pretty good. That actually ended up happening with us on Saturday as well too. We all did deadlifts, but because there were four or five of us deadlifting and we we're only using one platform, there was really a long time between sets and we didn't get a lot of work done. So we were there for two hours, just like we were in the gym today for, and we didn't get a ton of work done. So that was a downside, but again, it's okay, only because we all went heavy and we all had a great time talking with each other, sharing best practices and just talking about YouTube in general and things that we run into. and ways that we think we can collab in the future. So overall, it was a very good experience. I hope to be able to meet up with Bob and Nick more often only because they're closer. And as I transition towards the end of BBSM, I'll have a little bit more flexibility in my schedule. I'm also trying to convince Maddie to come up with his fiance, Brittany, only because I think he'll enjoy it with her. And then we can take Mrs. Campbell Fitness and myself out and around on the town maybe a little double date if you know what I'm saying, but it should be a good time regardless. And kind of to wrap things up before I end this clip and really show you what we had for a post-workout, one of the things I'll say is I really enjoyed my time, again, meeting Maddie, meeting Max, Nick, Bob, all again. So I'm gonna link them all in the description box below. And if you haven't had the chance already, definitely go check them out. Subscribe if you're interested, because why the hell else wouldn't you do? That's why you're on YouTube. And at least you can go just subscribe and troll if you really want. So last set here, just did 355 for a single and hit up some food for lunch. So my girlfriend made me shave. I shouldn't say girlfriend, fiance. Beer steaks, you're checking in. But I'm at Ricotti's here with Olympus Iron, which you can't see right now, because let's be honest, you just want to watch me. <laughs> Let me see if I can get this sandwich on there. Good, it's a good 13 incher. Never know what I'm saying. Uh, but here with Matty Fusaro, who can't handle the 13 incher apparently. <laughs> You got a wrap. Yeah, yeah. Is this a Sparta me? A Sparta mean? Yeah, Chris Jones crew checking in. Aspartame, dude. Aspartame. Got them away six. Bob from Olympus Iron. I'm What's assuming you guys. Yeah. There. But we're in, uh, we're in Bristol, Rhode Island. Like I said, at Ricotti. We just got done training at uh, Bob's gym. So you guys will see probably some of the footage with this. But then we're going to have a sandwich. It's Sunday. Then we're going to head back because Maddie's got to go home. And then uh, we got to do something. I don't know what yet. Gordon Beard's out. But that's what I got. I'm going to eat. See ya, bye. <laughs>